I'm fresh, I'm clean, it feels good. Um, so I decided to have the same breakfast as yesterday. So granola, strawberries and yogurt, just because it was so nice. I was like, hmm, I'll have that again. Um, so the granola I go for is just like the Tesco's one, like the one that's like the like granola and then the wee bit of strawberry through it. Um, clusters, I think it could be called maybe, I'm not sure. Um, and then the 0% fat Greek style yogurt, which is Tesco's own brand as well. Um, I think the granola is 150 and the yogurt is like 80p for a big tub, so good quality. Um, and it's yummy. Um, so yeah, that is my breakfast for today. I'm excited to eat it. But I've just like, I know the yogurt can be quite bitter and I've just brushed my teeth so I'm like, this is gonna be rotten for the first couple of bites. Um, question though, do you brush your teeth before you eat in the morning or after you eat in the morning? Because I always have to brush them first before I eat, which I know is kind of weird, but like, I just have to do it. I feel weird if I don't. So yeah, tell me, let me know in the comments. So Brooke and I are going to the North Coast, so I thought I'd make us some lunch before we go so we don't have to buy stuff. And I wanted to show you just how simple it is to make pad thai. So get ready. Olive oil, sweet corn, onions, garlic, peppers into the pan. Kettle boil, whole grain rice noodles into the pot, boil and water. So this is my hack for you guys. I keep one of these little Miller, Miller Light tubs for whenever I am mixing sauces and stuff for my meals. So yeah. It's handy. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, three quarters of brown sugar, mix well, pepper, and pour into the veg. Sieve the noodles into the same pan. Give it a good mix. Separate into two separate containers. And there you go, lunch is served. So I don't really know if you can hear me, but we are in Bob's and Bumbers in Port Rush. Uh, we're just chilling. I got a caramel latte and a portion of sweet potato fries. Um, I didn't really want to get dinner, but I'm, I'm kind of hungry because it's almost dinner time. So I thought I'll get something light here and then I'll make something when I go home. So that's the plan. This is my latte. Look at me. Here we have it. Some sweet potato fries, latte. Look at Brooks ones though, look, it came out with a cup. Can we get that? Can we bug it just to see what you got? <laughs> I'm back from a lovely day out. Uh, I mean, me and Brooke went to Port Stewart. We walked along the promenade. Then we went to Port Rush and walked around it and then sat in Bob and Bert for like an hour and that was it. It sounds like probably the worst day ever because it rained the whole time, but it was actually quite good. <laughs> I mean, every day is good with me and Brooke. We just make it good. Um, so yeah, it's quarter past eight and I'm doing my workout. So I literally, like you can't go to Port Rush and not get an ice cream, like a Mr. Whippy ice cream. So on the way back to the car, we got an ice cream, but it was so like milky or something that she had to put it into like a pot because it wouldn't stay on the cone. It was so like dripping. And now my tummy is, turning I feel so sick but uh, just warning you if I threw up during my workout you know why I've learned my lesson I'm gonna do my workout now it says arms and abs but there's a lot of like lower body stuff so I don't know but yeah I'm gonna do this now <laughs> that I say this one was the sweatiest yet the next one is even sweatier I'd say I've well and truly sweated that ice cream out of me 
boys oh boys I am soaked I am now slowly recovering from that workout my eye is itchy I'm also wearing a nightly that my granny gave me it's actually really cute I like it it's really long though I've had the worst eating day like I had breakfast and then like a really late lunch and then I wasn't really hungry at dinner time so I only got sweet potato I only had sweet potato fries and now I, and then I, the ice cream made me feel sick so I'm like I don't want to eat anything now because it's also like half nine um so I'm just having my bagels peanut butter and banana um to finish off my day but it hasn't been good, like I haven't had a dinner, proper dinner today which I don't like because I like my dinner but while I'm here, while I'm finishing off my video for today I thought I would share with you my second thought, tip, discovery about self esteem, body confidence, etc etc so the second one is your mornings so be honest what do you do first thing in the morning think about it and be honest because if I'm being honest the first thing that I do every single morning without a doubt is pick up my phone I literally wake up and my first instinct is to grab my phone and obviously then I see notifications I see different apps and then that's me from first thing in the morning on Instagram, on Facebook, on whatever social media I have, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And like, how do I expect to start my day well if that's what I do first thing in the morning? Like, realistically, what do I expect? Like, I'm just setting myself up for putting myself down. Like, I'm like first thing in the morning, my first actions are setting myself up to put myself down. And that's just not good instead like I should be trying to do something else in the mornings first thing like get up just get up and make breakfast without looking at my phone first um, maybe get up and read get up and just start the day like go out without looking at my phone but like in our culture and our society it's so like wrong almost to do that because you think you're missing out on something and realistically you're not missing out on anything, like I'm not missing out on anything by not going on my phone first thing in the morning. Obviously, check your phone to see if you have a message from someone that could be important, but like, don't just pick it up and scroll first thing in the morning, like, and that's something I'm, tr like, I am feeling horribly bad at, because I think I've done it every day this week so far, so I'm preaching to myself here. Um... But yeah, I'm definitely going to challenge myself and really try for the remainder of this week to not pick up my phone first thing in the morning, to get up and do something. And then, fair enough, look at your phone because you'll be up and doing things, so you'll probably not sit for as long. But yeah, start your day off right. And as you mean to go on and see if that makes a difference for you, like it might not, but um, I'm going to try it and I really do think it'll make a positive change. So, I, well, I'm hoping it does. <laughs> also, something I learned today is that not every day is gonna go to plan. Um, so like, I had planned to have a jacket potato for lunch and then make homemade pizza for dinner. I didn't do any of those things. I had a really rushed lunch. I had about a quarter of a dinner and now I'm having like a really late dinner that's actually a breakfast food. <laughs> Uh, so not every day is going to go to plan and that's okay like it's not the end of the world it actually hasn't changed anything you know and I think that's something that I'm trying to learn is that on days when I miss a workout on days when I do a workout later on days whenever I don't eat as well as I should or when I eat at random times like yes that's not what I want to do but it's also not the end of the world like my world isn't going to crumble and fall apart if those things happen um, and it's something that I have been improving on so that's good my bagel's getting cold so I'm gonna go eat my bagel now and then I'm gonna go edit 
I'm gonna go read Psalm 3, then watch Doctor Who, then edit, then go to bed. And I'm hoping to have a chill day tomorrow, so that'll be nice. And I'll see you guys then. I hope you enjoyed day nine. I did.